In this video, we will go over the custom date reminder workflow trigger. So this will trigger the workflow on a specific date that you've set up. This is great for sending account review reminders or um, items after or before, before somebody's birthday. So to get started, we will click on add new workflow trigger. Go ahead and type in custom. You'll see custom date reminder here under the contact section. We're going to go ahead and select that. And then you can change the workflow trigger name by typing it in this box here. You can customize this to your trigger, how you're setting it up. And then we're going to add filters by clicking on this button here and selecting this drop down. We are going to select custom date field. And then over here you have um, account review or birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and click on account review. And then you can add additional filters to this as well. So you can set this up so the workflow triggers on the account review date, um, but we're gonna add additional filters here. So from this dropdown, I have after a number of days, before a number of days, date is, hashtag, or month is. So after a number of days, you can select um, this box here and then type in a number in your box. You can also use these arrows to go up and down on the numerals. Um, so how I have this set up, two days after the account review, this workflow will be triggered and then the follow-up sequence will continue. And then if I select, um, let's go back here, add filters before number of days. Again, you can type in a specific number here, let's say two days. Um, so this means two days before the account review, this workflow is going to trigger and send out my follow-up sequence. Going to the next one, you can select day is, and then from the dropdown, you can select a specific day and then has tag. So if you have an account review and you want to select a specific tag as well, you can do that. Um, and then the last one is month is. So month is, you can select a month. So let's say June, the month is June. We have an account review, the workflow is gonna trigger. Um, so here you can match on the year along with the date and month by clicking this box here. And then once you have all of this updated to your liking, you can click on save trigger. You'll see that trigger in your workflow and then just make sure that you're clicking on the blue save button up here in the top right corner to save your workflow as well.